Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Spore Games Spore Creature Creator to create any of the animals, any of the monster, and export it out. After that, import into your Unreal Engine 4 as your game game object, as your game monster. Import into your Unreal Engine 4 game project. Alright, before I start anything, I will just create an Unreal Engine game project from my Epic Game Launcher. You just need to follow step by step. I will start the Unreal Editor. Next, I will create a game. I will create a third person game as demo, as example. Then I will name it as Spore. Sorry. I will name it as Spore to. Unreal 02 as, as demo, create a project. Alright, now this game project is already standby there. Next, what you need to have, you need to have a Steam, Steam account. You just go and download download the Steam and then get the Spore game. Of course, this game you need to pay some money. Just just a few dollars and you, you will get the Spore game. This is my Steam account. And it's under my library. My library. I select the software and the game all selected together. And find the Spore in your game library. And I play this game first. Click play. All right. Once you already enter the game, you just need to wait for a while until it load the screen. Next, click create. Click here, click the creature creator and click here launch selected creator. Now you enter this mode. This is a creature creator and you can create any of the creature. It is like like the creature creator. You can change the body, the body shape to any of the shapes. Alright, it is very fun. Of course, you can create a tail as well, like this. Now, I want to give this creature an eyes. Many eyes can, can be selected here. For example, if I, I, I give this one. Alright, the mouth is already there. If I want to give a hand, it is okay. So many selections, and I want to give some some food. If I want it to grow taller, yes, you can do do whatever you want. Maybe I want this grow taller. All right. Next, of course I can I can give a, a leg foot here. <laughs> give some horn as well. One, I can just click and delete it. And then, of course, I can give some leaf as well. It is up to you. This is your own design. Next, once you finish it, click the paint. Under the paint mode, you can give some texture. If 
give some texture to your creature. Alright, once you feel done, I want to give the blue color texture. <laughs> Alright, once you feel done, you press your keyboard Ctrl, Shift C, and then here you type Coleda Export. Enter. Alright, see? Creature must have a name before running this cheat. So, give a name. This one I can just put sample 02 as the creature's name now again control shift c and i type coleda export and i press enter now you can see exported to documents my sport creation my sport creation creatures sample 02 dae this is a 3d file now i can just close the console and click it It's already exported out. Now I will just click here. I close, click here to quit the spore, exit the game. That's all. I'm using the spore game to create a creature. Now I close the theme as well. Next, where to find the file? What you need is, all right, delete everything first from my desktop. What I need to do is Point my mouse cursor to File Explorer and right click. Click File Explorer. Click Document. Document is here. And at here, find My Spore Creation. And just now it's created under the Creatures. And the name of the 3D models is Sample02 DAE. Next step. Open the Autodesk Maya. You need this software. The Autodesk Maya, you drag in the DAE into Autodesk Maya. It will import. It will import into the Autodesk Maya. Close this and now you can see your creature is here. Next step. Click this, the S root, and hold the control and click the transform so that both of these are selected and click file export selection remember the files of type choose fbx export and the file name I will put same as the sample 02 I click export selection before I click it I want it to export it under the same directory of, of the document, my spore creation and creature. So I copy this file destinations and back to the export selection, click here, select everything, backspace to delete everything and control V to paste the destination that is here. Next, remember to press enter. Now you can see the FBX file is exported. If I double click the sample 02, the FBX file, here of course you cannot see anything here, but the FBX file you need to drag into your Unreal Engine 4. Click the contents. This is a new project that I just created. I will just right click, okay, click the content and right click here, create a new folder. I will name this as Spore. Creature, sorry, Spore Creature. I double click in and then I will open a new folder again. The creature name is Sample02. So I, I type Sample02. Double click in and drag in the FBX file. And remember, the skeleton mesh must be ticked and click import all. After that, just wait for a while. 
close the message lock. Now, in your Unreal Engine, that is a skeletal mesh. And actually, this creature it already have all the skeletons. And the size is quite small, but it doesn't matter. We're back to here. The skeleton mesh, I'm going to drag in the skeleton mesh. The size is very small. The sample 02, I'm going to scale it from 1 to 100. Enter. Now, this creature is here. And what can you see? It is here without the texture. I drag in the diffuse. This is the texture I drag in. And release my mouse. At this moment, I just need to wait for a while. Until the texture come out. If I play, alright, now you can see the texture is already loaded. I just play again. This creature, it is full skeletons. You can use it to create any of the animation if you want. For example, you can use the Maya to create animation here or you can use any of the Realution product like 3D Exchange. You can import into the iClone 7 to create some animation for this creature as well. A long time ago, I already published a video tutorial on how to create, the, how to create animation for the Spore creature. Now I'm going to find it out as well. Go back to the YouTube, I'm going to give you the link as well. It is under my channel. I'll find it out for you now and give you the, 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 the link of the video, the previous tutorial. That should be... Sport to iClone. Alright, if you want to create animations, just refer here. Spore creature, creator to icon. Dapatkanlah paringgit penghantaran percuma. Beli sekarang. For just sixty-seven dollars, you can make as many videos as you want, and you never need to pick up a camera or. This video, for example, I clone. So I will give you this link. Just need to click into the link. So, and click subscribe. You can create animations in the I clone. Alright, so I give you this link as well. This is about Spore to iClone and create animation. Okay, Spore to iClone and Blender and how to create animation. Check this out. All right. So all the required links I, I already give you in the video description, you just need to scroll down and go and click that. All right. So that's all for today about how to use the Spore Games, Spore Creature Creator to create any of the monster, any of the creature, and even animals and dinosaur and Export it out, import into your Unreal Engine game project to make it become 
a game, avatar, etc. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell to activate the notification so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.